Hi, welcome to another educational video by Cat's Bit Productions. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about artwork placement on your screen when you expose it in the light table. Uh, there are a couple things that you want to keep in mind when you are placing your artwork on the screen for exposure. Okay, now, uh, first of which is that you want to make sure that your, your artwork reads right. No matter what you're doing, whether it's a, a multicolor job or a one color job, your artwork needs to read right. And what that means is that when it's in the press, the artwork is upside down to you, but it reads right. When you look at the screen through the inkwell side, you should be able to read everything. It reads right, okay? On the back, when you look through the back, it's backwards. But, point being that it needs to read right. So, reading right means that I would take my film just the way it is here like this, and take it and just place it right on the back. And there it is, okay? So that would be that. Would be that. For a one color, it's pretty easy. Like I said, all you need to do is make sure it reads right. You know, you center it. You can basically eyeball it. You just take it and you can eyeball it and put it in the center. You want to have it down, uh, you know, about a palm or so, you know, a few inches. Give yourself some space to work with the ink up here because when you put it in the press, you know, you want to give yourself some space here to do your flooding and stroking. Okay, so not too high up. And you want to have it in the center because the center of the screen is the best area. Okay? So, also, uh, you want to make sure that when you're doing a multicolor job and you have one, two, and three screens that are going to print one design. What you need to do there is you need to have a ruler or a T-square. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure. When you take your film, when you do your first, the first one actually, the first one that you do, if you choose to do the black printer first, I always go for the black printer first. That's my thing. I don't, I don't know why. Normally, the black printer is the one with the most amount of information. And uh, it has the, you know, the most parts of, of the design to it will be on the black printer most of the time. That's not necessarily always the case. Now this is the gray printer, and I'm using this just so you can see it really easily. And so for the first one, you can measure it if you want to, or basically the first one you can eyeball, and you get it centered. But then once you have it on here, you're going to need to take measurements. And I would make measurements to your registration marks. Now for this job, what I did was, is I measured down from the top of the screen to here, and from the top of the screen to here, and then I measured once from the side to here. And then I use those three measurements to continue forward and then burn the next portion of my design. And I use the same measurements, say from the top here, from the top here, from the side to here. That way, what, what we're doing there is we're making sure that when we go to the press and we put the screen into the bracket, and we center the black printer. Like say we start with the black printer and we use that one to center our, our whole job, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna put it in center it. We go ahead and put down a test print of black to line up our next color. And we want the next screen to go in and mount in the bracket and be in the general, you know, relatively in the general same location as the other printer. So that when you go to register it, it's not four inches you know, it's not, oh my goodness, I burned this an inch and a half over, now the screen, I can't put the screen over, you know what I'm saying? It, you need to make sure that your artwork is all in the same place. And what that means is that if you're setting up a screen like this, this is a three color design, so there's three screens to this design. But what I did was, is I set up a big back print, then I set up 
a little tiny print which could be used for baby doll shirts on the front or it could be used for bags. It could be used for a variety of things. And then I also set up a crest print, which you see here. Okay, so planning out your screens is also a really good idea. So what I did was is I maximized the usage of my three screens. I burned these three screens. There's the gray. And here's the green. Okay. And then the black outline. Okay. And now, you know, I have them burnt and they're all good. They're in the perfect places. They line up very nicely on the press. And now, as long as I'm using this design, my screens are done. I catalog them. I'm going to hold on to them. And the reason for that is, is because of all the work it took me to burn the screens. It took a little while. The most time-consuming part of burning these screens was measuring and placing each piece of film. Okay, and that took me maybe, I don't know, almost, an, almost 45 minutes or almost an hour because I worked slow. I was taking my time to join it and uh, I like to work in the, in the red light when I do my screens to avoid any fogging. Okay, so what I'd also like to mention is that if you're fortunate enough to work in a shop with a carrier system, then you've got it made because the carrier system eliminates the need to measure all these things. And I, unfortunately, do not have a carrier system, but I'll do my best to explain it to you. The carrier system works on a set of pins. And what, what they'll have in their dark room is a little light table. It'll be a light table and it'll have a set, have a set of pins up at the top. And what you do is you take, they'll have um, a drawer or, or a cabinet and there'll be, there'll be large sheets of heavy acetate carriers. They're clear. And you take those, they have the pinhole, uh, pinholes in the top of them and you take one and you put it down on the pins. And then you go ahead and place your artwork. Now, a lot of these pin tables will have a, uh, you know, hair, crosshairs and such underneath so that you can see. So you place your first one and you tape it down to that heavy acetate carrier, okay? Then you take another heavy acetate carrier and you put it on top of that one, locking it into the pins. And then you go to your next piece and you tape it like that. And then when you go to put your, the film on the screen, all you do is you take the whole carrier and the carrier, you, you put, the, uh, you put the, the carrier onto a little jig that has the pinholes and then you put your screen down and basically pick up the um, carrier. So the carrier system works on sets of pins. One, one set of pins helps you line up all the artwork on the carriers and the other set of pins will place the artwork on the screens in the same place. Okay, so the carrier system is awesome and uh, it's, it's very cool. It speeds up your, your, your time setting up uh, your screens, it speeds it up a lot. Okay, and once again, this concludes our uh, episode of Cat Spit Productions educational videos. I'd like to thank you for watching and remind you to uh, visit eBay, subscribe, and rate five stars. Thanks for watching.